Hey guys, welcome back to The Genius Life. I'm Trudy and today I'm gonna be taking you through what I do in a day, quarantine edition. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you scroll down, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and let's get right into the video. So I know it's been a couple months, you guys. So I just wanna give you a little mini update so life has definitely taken over. The coronavirus came around. Luckily, we're good. Praying for you guys. If you know anyone that has been affected by the coronavirus or just everyone that has been, you know, even if you don't know anyone, I definitely want to send my condolences out to everyone that has been dealing with any type of illness, whether it is the coronavirus or something else during this time. But yeah, life has just taken over. You know, you've got COVID coming through. Business is different. You know, we've been doing a lot of education as well, business education, which is such a blessing. Um, and also, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that I've been doing meal planning for my Genius Life folks. So it's been absolutely amazing, but definitely things have been super busy. So yeah, let's get right into it. I start my day like anybody else. I go to the bathroom, I take care of business. And of course, you know, I take my time, I sometimes do bring my phone in there, which you guys do not do that. It's very distracting. But yeah, in, in a lot of cases, I bring it in there and I just kind of like do my thing. Then I head over to, you know, brush my teeth. But before I get into that, I make sure to scrape my tongue. You guys, I can go through a whole video on why it's important to scrape your tongue, especially in the morning, because overnight, there's a lot of things that accumulate on the tongue, specifically bacteria, and you don't wanna be walking around with that all day. Now you're gonna be like, well, Trudy, I could just brush my tongue. No, <laughs> you don't wanna brush your tongue. I mean, you can brush your tongue still. I still brush my tongue, but you wanna specifically scrape your tongue um, because that has a different effect. So I scrape my tongue, I brush my teeth, I wash my face. And then I head over to my closet and I get dressed for yoga. Then I get my hot water for the day. So if you guys aren't familiar with how I consume liquids, um, I can do a whole video on warm liquids and why it's important to drink at least only warm or hot liquids, especially when you are consuming fried foods. Um, I can't stress that enough. That's something I've been doing for the last six years and it's completely changed my life. So yeah, in the mornings, I warm up my water in my kettle and I pour it into this huge jug, which keeps it hot for like 12 hours straight so I don't have to keep warming up water in the kettle. So once I have that going, I set up my yoga mat. Then by that time, usually the water is semi-warm. That first cup of water that I have is usually not piping hot, just like medium temperature, just enough so that it doesn't shock the system in a cold direction or super hot direction, just like a little warm. And then either I'll plop a little piece of lime in there for alkalizing vitamin C benefits, or I'll use some amla powder. Amla powder is super, super good for you guys. I cannot stress it enough. And it's very good for specific body types, which I can go through in a different video, but it's basically a fruit. It's actually Indian gooseberry. It's something that comes, it's a fruit that comes out of India and it's actually 10 times more potent than your average orange. So like, you know the vitamin C that you get from an orange? Imagine 10 times the amount of vitamin C than what's in an orange. Like that's what's in one teaspoon of amla powder. So I have that or I'll just have a piece of lime in my water and I'll just mindfully sip on my warm water and get ready for the day, which starts with yoga. Sometimes I do yoga, sometimes I do Pilates. It just depends on how I'm feeling, depends on what I'm in the mood for. Um, and it's really important for me to do that because I do not only have Vata tendencies, which is like the air, ether elements, but I also have Kapha tendencies, which is the more grounded, lazy, wanna be comfortable, wanna be cozy type of person. And that could keep me in a lull. So having a little bit of a vigorous workout, like maybe Pilates or even like something that's like hit, you know, like is sometimes good for me. Not always, depending on how much Vata imbalance I'm dealing with. So yeah, I'll do my workout and then I'll do my Pranayam. So Pranayam or Pranayama is basically breathing exercises. Now this is really good for anybody that's dealing with just, you know, just wanting to detox or maybe you're dealing with digestive issues. Maybe you're even in the first stage of 
some type of illness, possibly cancer. The kind of pranayama that I do lately is called Kapal Bhati, and it's absolutely one of the most powerful breathing exercises you can possibly do. Very detoxifying, like literally, if I do this consistently for a week straight, I will have very full, consistent bowel movements, which I normally have consistent morning bowel movements, but not always nighttime movements, right? So if you have trouble with like going to the bathroom, having full movements, like feeling like, okay, you got everything out, you want to try pranayama. Like I kid you not, this is a very powerful thing. So yeah, I do that. I'll go take a shower and then I'll get ready for the day. All right, so now we're gonna head to the kitchen because it's time to get something to eat, right? So in the morning, I like to have savory breakfast just because it's very warming. It's very good for my body type. Lots of spices, lots of herbs, lots of greens. And so I'll just cook something up real quick. I'll also make something for Jet. He loves, loves, loves to have smoothies. If I am rushing to like get to my computer, maybe I have like a call that I have to get on. Maybe there's a couple emails that I have to get out pending super, super fast. Sometimes I will wait to make breakfast until I get out those super, super duper important emails. And I mean, I, you guys could probably relate if you work from home, leave a comment down below. You'll probably say that, you know, sometimes you wake up and it's like, especially during COVID, like you gotta head to that computer ASAP because there's just so much going on. You would think you're heading to the office. All right, and then it's usually time for me to jump on Instagram. Now, Instagram is actually part of my job. Like I actually post for one of our clients twice a day. So I'll jump on Instagram, quickly shoot out that post and then I'll head into some other stuff that I have to do for work. However, today we're actually going grocery shopping, all right? So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go to Mom's, which is our local organic market, and we're also gonna go to Costco. So when I'm at Costco and Mom's during the pandemic, during the COVID, the quarantine, whatever you wanna call it, um, you know, obviously you gotta have the mask pop in. There's like lines everywhere. They have all these signs up, six feet, social distancing. Like comment below if it's like that at your local Costco. It's been pretty different. It's definitely been an adjustment, but luckily today it's not super busy. So we got in within like, I wanna say within five minutes. There's been times where we've waited for like, I don't know, like 45 minutes to get into Costco. You know, I don't like wearing the mask particularly. So I use my scarf. Um, I don't know, I had a mask at one point and it smelled like it was a fresh, clean mask, but it just smells weird to me. I don't know what they used to make those things. I don't know if there's any chemicals in there, but I wasn't feeling it. So I use my clean scarf and I just make sure that I have it tied around so it stays nice and tight. So thankfully we got in quickly. I only had to get a few things and we were out the door. So next we're going to Mom's. So Mom's is like my favorite store of all time. It's got everything you could ever think or want as a plant-based, vegan, Ayurvedic eater. And so first stop is produce, right? So, you know, I'm picking up a couple different things, but the main idea with going to grocery stores that I wanna get across to you guys is that you must have a list, especially if you're going to an organic health food store, because these stores, the prices ain't no joke. Like you don't wanna be going in there without a plant because you will end up who knows, $300 in the hole or whatever. And you don't want to do that during a pandemic, okay? Because you got you got to stay on budget. So it's very important to make a list. I like to use an app called Wonderlist. I use it for all my different to-do lists, whether it's for the business, for the genius life stuff that I need to do, groceries, things I need to do for family members. I have all my different to-do to lists on this app. They're actually changing over to another app. So if you do download Wonderlist, it'll tell you we're switching over to Microsoft To Do or something like that. But anyways, you can use anything, whether it's pen and paper or an app on your phone. Just write down everything that you want to be shopping at the grocery store for and take it off as you go along. And I actually sometimes create my list so specific that it's down to the recipes that I'm gonna be making. And that way I have everything I need for the recipe. And if there's things I already have in the house that I can use for that recipe, I'll just, you know, not pick that up. It'll be like a little bit more affordable because I already know I can use some stuff in the house. Now, thankfully, this grocery store is still letting us bring our grocery bags because I would hate to have to use, you know, the paper bags or the plastic bags that they're giving out. But I know for you guys, 
um, some places maybe, you know, not allowing that. So comment below, like what's going on in your local town? Are they like making you guys use plastic? Cause you know, maybe it's safer with the whole COVID thing or like, what are they doing? Let me know. Now we're done with the groceries. So I usually just head straight home, but today we are gonna go get a little treat. So we're heading over to our local organic plant-based eatery. They're called Great Sage. And we're just gonna grab some um, maca latte. It's like, or it's called magic mushroom maca latte, something like that. It's basically like an adaptogen hot chocolate, very yummy. Um, all plant-based, you know, no, no milk or anything like that, just plant milk. And we actually grabbed some cornbread. Usually around this time, we actually like to go for a walk. So we'll just head out, you know, walk around the block. Maybe we'll drive five minutes away to where there's like a little trail and we'll walk there. Since we did groceries and we're here, we're just gonna use this as our little out time. All right, so now we're gonna head home. I put away my groceries, of course, after coming from the grocery store, but my greens particularly, I I make sure that I wash them very thoroughly in fruit and vegetable wash or apple cider vinegar. And that's something I can go through on a separate video, but they're actually sitting here drying right now because that they're in the process of drying out so I can chop them up and put them away for the week. But that is something that I really wanna stress to you guys if you are in the process of you know eating more greens or just trying to be more healthy and you wanna make sure that your greens stay fresh throughout the week or even up to two weeks. There's definitely a couple tips I can give you guys for that. So leave a comment down below if you wanna see that video. So for dinner, I'll do something lighter. Sometimes it's soup, sometimes it's just fruit, sometimes it's, I don't know, it's just all different types of things. So we'll have something light for dinner and then sometimes I'll have some maybe like almond milk later on if I just feel like having something warm and cozy or some type of latte, you know, whatever it is that I'm in the mood for. I try not to eat fruits later on in the day because they can actually take a while to digest, especially if I had dinner within the last hour or so, you definitely don't wanna put fruits on top of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. My day is usually pretty filled. I try to end the day by 9.30. After having dinner, I do go back on the computer. Um, I have to post one more time on our client's Instagram. And then in between that, I probably make a TikTok if I just need a little break, something to like distract me. Or maybe I'll go on Instagram and share some stuff with you guys at The Genius Life. So if you guys have any questions or if you just have any comments, let me know what you think about this quarantine edition of what I do in a day. Let me know what you do in a day during quarantine. I know a lot of people are bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. Or, you know, let me know, like maybe it's like super busy for you if you own a business or maybe you are you know, working from a home, maybe you started a new job and everything is completely transformed in your life. Let me know down below what's going on and I'm super, super excited to hear more from you guys. We'll definitely see you guys soon. Leave a comment, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.